Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I am Bob, and in today's episode, we are going to be doing some science, and we're going to be doing some murder. Or, I, 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 warfare. We're doing warfare. I don't know, it might be murder at this point, I'm not really sure. But we're going to do some science along with it, so that makes it okay. Um, we've got a few comments to go through. I, I, I actually, I, I appreciate you guys getting them in. I got them in quick this time, because uh, I kind of did two episodes in short consecutive order. Let's start with uh, Impregnable. He said something that reminded me that uh, his Ka was a thing, which reminded me what I was doing with these Exalted. So this group of three Exalted that are here, which were previously up here a moment ago, uh, or in the last episode, um, I was talking like, because I, I started this before the winter break, and uh, I, like, I didn't know what I was doing with them. I couldn't remember what I was doing with them. As it turns out, these guys were going to go deal with his Ka. That was the original plan, was to take this city with those Exalted. I don't know for sure if uh, I still have time to do that. It kind of depends because I'm starting to see some pressure from uh, this gentleman over here and his undead minions. Um, so I I don't know. I will, uh, I will have to see how that develops. But um, I do need to try to get his Ka if I can, and I just kind of forgot about that. Um, but yes, uh, from Impregnable, he suggested using any spare exalteds I do have to reinforce against the Necro in the Underground, including those on their way north. So I have uh, some exalteds that are part of the way. I mean, the map is there's just stuff everywhere. Um, I've got some exalteds that are already part of the way north, like this guy. Um, it's pretty much that guy. I guess there's one more here. But basically what uh, Cat, uh, what Impregnable is saying, it's not too late to turn them around and use them against the Necro Underground. Um, down here, I've got uh, I've got this group. Um, they were on their way to go do a giant quest. I might want them to detour for something, but we'll uh, see how that develops. I think I still have four turns to get that giant quest. Let's do this quest again. Uh, four turns left. I think I will be... Okay, I'll talk about that a little bit more later, what I'm doing with those guys. Um, as far as this one up here goes, I've got a full stack down there, so I, I think, I don't know. I, I may leave just one up here anyway, because he's already on the way all the way up here, but I think I'm going to turn this guy around. Um, I am still making Exalteds here, so it's not like there's nothing going that way. Um, in fact, this guy needs to kind of turn in about face and head down here on the next turn as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I am gonna leave at least one uh, one extra in this area and maybe have him go help out the goblins uh, that are underground. Um, got this group up here with my with my big beetle and all those guys. Yeah, I think I'll send him up that way just to kind of I don't think I'm gonna run into anything substantial in the north, but if I do, might not be a bad thing to have an exalted down here part of the reason i'm thinking this way is because this group here the original plan was to have six exalted a stack of six exalted kind of kicking butt and taking over this area which i never really fully secured and i think i can still do that that's kind of what i want this group to do after they're done doing the giant quest so i um you know i might actually just leave this guy hanging out here in case anything tries to sneak through this area, then maybe I can reinforce the city. Although, there's actually, you know, I'm making, ah, I know what I'll do. So I'm making um, more exalted as we speak. There's that arena being built. Uh, what I will do is continue making goblin exalted up here after that arena is done. In fact, I'll just queue up a bunch more. And uh, then I'll just make another stack of six, and then I'll have two stacks of six exalted rather than one. And everyone will be twice as happy, um, except for my enemies. Paid absolution, I keep accidentally clicking on that, can't do anything with that yet. Um, but anyway, moving on, we got Blurry Inner Vision said, use Northwest Crusaders to clear the nearby library for a free spell. Um, might go ahead and just do that right now before I forget to do it. There's a... Uh, Magic Library, Northwest Crusaders. Am I missing something? Because I'm not seeing a library. I was thinking there was one up here too. But now I'm not seeing it. There's a... Uh, there's an ancient ruins there. I 
thought he was talking about the Northwestern Crusaders, and these are the only ones that I'm familiar with, unless we're talking about maybe near this Tigran city. I am not seeing a library in this area. I apologize if I was overlooking it, but um, basically the idea was, oh, maybe he's talking about this library. Uh, they might be able to do that if they can get there without dying to whatever's in there, but I kind of need them on defense just in case. I guess there's also this library over here. Ah, uh, you know what? It doesn't hurt to move them a turn in this direction. I can always turn them around later if I want to. So, I'm assuming that's the library we're talking about. The idea is try to get a free spell, um, which would be kind of nice. Uh, Casper Eklund's not really sure if that will work. Um, he, the spells right now are such high value spells, he's not sure whether the uh, library will actually give me the ones I want, but we will see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. The Nars Reduced Hospital. Okay. So I'll have to get back to that later. Um, and I think I've already got Storm Sisters queued here. I'm gonna let them carry on as they are. I'm actually very close to that Griffin Spire. I think I was kind of working towards that. Uh, but that's four turns away. I don't think I want to wait for that just for an extra promotion rank. Uh, Blurry Intervision also had a comment regarding the Lightning Storm. He said I could back the troll out of Ganon's army to give... Uh, the Exalted more healing, so back up here to the Naga Dwelling. What's this one called? Aspaseal. Um, I need to... Or the, the idea was move the, back the troll up like a space, move the Exalted on Ganon's army, because the troll regenerates all his health. The one downside to doing this is that the troll no longer has Resurgence, and it's kind of wasted on the Exalted. But with Lightning Storm active, the healing of the Exalted is probably more important. Plus, if Brynhilda attacks me with only one stack, I'm not going to lose anything. I mean, I'll be fine. So, or at least I won't lose that troll. I'll just be careful with him. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, I think pairing the Exalted up with Ganon is probably safer. And they are just going to stay there and stare down Brynhilda for the time being. Um, Hassan123 said the plus two resist item may be better for cars than versus machines. Uh, that is probably true. I'm going to swap that item in on him now, actually, uh, for the fearsome item. Because you can't panic a machine. But the extra resistance will help with spells or fire or frost or whatever else gets thrown at cars. And his resistance was kind of on the low side on account of being a tigrant, so this helps make up for that. I do. Maybe need to just kind of keep an eye on that because it may there may be something I specifically want to panic. And generally speaking, I find fearsome to be far more useful. But in this specific context, I think the more extra resistance is actually better for Karzin. Um, Ahmed Sultan and Arch Redbeard both suggested clearing the Sphinx temples for knowledge boost. One near the underground exalted group and another near the shrine of smiting. So uh, the one near the underground exalted group down here. I would have to double back for, which is why I wasn't just kind of waffling on what I was going to do with these guys. Um, I would have to sort of back up to do that, but I think even with three turns remaining, um, they should still have time to do that. The giant quest is not far for a group of flyers, and the knowledge boost right now may be what I need to get. I'll have to check on the next turn when they have their movement back, but that knowledge boost may be all I need. Uh, to really give myself a good chance at getting the all-knowing Empire quest completed. So that's something I'll be looking at on the next turn. Um, also from uh, Ahmed Sultan suggested focusing growth in my new halfling cities. Um, we had an interesting, sorry, uh, new goblin cities. Um, so the ones that I'm trying to get to grow for goblin race governance and whatnot had an interesting discussion about once these cities are done, whether it's worth building uh, hurrying production on um, public baths and hospitals in a sense they make up for their they give happiness so they make up for the um, for the uh, happiness lost from hurrying production but you would also have more overall happiness if you didn't hurry production because you wouldn't have the penalty at all and then by the time the structures are done your cities would be even more happy which makes them more productive but the hospital also gives a growth boost, which would help the city expand faster and may allow you access to more wetlands tiles for happiness. So the general 
conversation was around like whether it's worth hurrying production on happiness structures if your goal is growth related. Um, I think it probably depends on the production available to the city. In a city like this one, it'll probably be worth it because there's not much production. In a city like this one up here with the dungeon, might be a different story. So we'll have to uh, see, but uh, I, I can't really do the math on that, but I think uh, it's an, it, excuse me, it's an interesting discussion. Um, and maybe somebody out there wants to actually do the math on that. I think in my opinion, it's probably worth it for this city. Maybe not for this one. We'll see how it plays out. Um, in the meantime, I do have, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Otherwise I'm gonna forget some of the remaining comments. We're almost done though. We've got Casper Eklund, uh, a couple reminders. Let's see, one of them is, okay, clearing the spiders underground. Um, I think in the comments I said something about, might be nice to let the spy spiders harass the necro units on their way in. Um, I was wrong about where the spiders are positioned. They're nowhere near harassing the necro units. Uh, but I also don't want to go run over there and deal with them because they're not a threat to any of my cities, and the Necro is coming in hot. In fact, that Cherub could reach... Wait, no, that's my Cherub. They can't actually reach the city on this turn, I guess. So I could double back and go get those guys. I might do that. Um, the Cherub, the Spearman. If they, if they web the first... You know what? I don't want to risk losing a unit. I feel like if they get lucky and web the firstborn and maybe web a couple other units, I don't know. Like, anything in there could be webbed except the spirit elemental, and the spirit elemental is very weak to poison, so he's not really a great counter to spiders. I don't even... I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't think I like that matchup, so I'm probably going to pass on that. I don't think they're threatening anything, and I can't really risk losing a unit in this city right now. So, especially that spirit elemental, not with the necromancer barreling down on me like he is, or like he seems to be. Casper Eklund did remind me, however, to check the global spells, which I think is a good idea. Uh, that would be not this menu, it would be this menu. Um, I can check and see who's got what up. So, I see both dreads, dreadnoughts have suppressed nature. Uh, that's not worth trying to dispel. Mana fuel cells is freaking all over the place. Whispers of the Fallen. Um is probably not going to benefit the necro that much because he's not going to kill a lot of my units power ritual is one that may be worth disjuncting powerful mana hungry spell that toughens the living dead your undead units gain more physical and melee attack bonuses so there's that uh orange has got great mobilization up it doesn't seem like Brynhilda has it up anymore can't remember if she ever did but that's actually not too scary i can deal with that or work around it if I was going to disjunct anything in here, it'd probably be Power Ritual. Um, especially since the Necro's bearing down on me at the moment. Let's, uh, let's take a look. The problem is it's reinforced. Chance of success is not great. Uh, I think I'm just going to work around it. It's reinforced to 188. I think I'd be better off using my mana to cast Paid Absolution and stuff. Plus, I don't really want to risk a critical failure disjuncting something. That could be bad. But it was a good idea to check those, because, like, if a sorcerer had their tier 6 spell up, that could be a bigger problem. Although, I guess green is almost dead and the halfling sorcerer is dead. The biggest tier 6 spell, of course, that I worry about is obviously the rogues, but they are not a factor in this game. I got lucky. If there was a rogue in this game, I think I feel like this would have been a very different game. Um... Kars, or sorry, Ahmed Sultan and Sarah Feingold both mentioned that I should have used the hasty plunder option for plundering this city. So, uh, that is maybe too late to do now. I don't know why. Well, hang on. That's two turns, and I've got three turns left. And I'm going to get the same amount of money either way. Yeah, I should just cancel that and switch to hasty plunder. That takes it down to two turns. I should have done that in the first place. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I guess I just don't play a destruction class often enough. But uh, yeah, good call out there uh, from Ahmed Sultan and Sarah Feingold. And then finally, uh, from Michael Johnson, hinted at Scorched Earth. I didn't really even think about this. I guess I would prefer to plunder cities to get gold if possible. But Scorched Earth is an option. Um, let's look at global. 
multiple spells here. Uh, so the target city you own will be raised instantly when you lose control over it. So that is kind of pretty good um, because it would maybe prevent, or it would maybe as a way to sort of, in a way, defend cities without Karzin actually having to leave units there because if the enemy takes the city, the city just burns to the ground. Um, I'm going to cast Paid Absolution first, but I'll try to keep that in the back of my mind um, because I think that's an interesting idea. And it may be useful going forward since I'm not really planning on keeping a lot of these cities. I might leave this one the way it is for now. It sort of doesn't mesh well with Hasty Plunder because Hasty Plunder only takes two turns and you get money from it. And obviously you want the money if you can get it. But it, it, it seems highly situational. But I will try to keep that in mind because I sort of forgot about that spell. And okay, that's all the comments. So let's, uh, well, let's break some stuff. Uh, we've got multiple options, and I think I'm going to start down in the northern underground. There is a dungeon that needs cleared. Um, oh, wait, there was one other um, Sphinx Temple location near a Shrine of Smiting uh, that was mentioned, and I almost forgot about that. Now, what Shrine of Smiting are we talking about here? It's that one, probably. Uh, I don't have units in the area really capable of dealing with that unless the Lord of the Deep swings up this way, which he could do. Could bring the Shrine in, bring the Impalers. There's a lot of times uh, Mana Cores in these, or not Mana Cores, uh, Tigran Sphinxes in these places. You know what? Let's grab some of those throwaway Impalers and just throw them in there and see what happens. Yeah, that could be fun. I haven't really gotten to use them much. The Lord of the Deep I will have swing up this way. Uh, I've also got this, that guy is probably gonna turn around and go south, but the Lord of the Deep, I'm gonna have swing up this way, and then I guess they can all just converge on this uh, on the next turn. That could be a fun little battle. Um, I could use definitely the extra research, so I appreciate you guys reminding me about that. Um, let's go back, flip back to the underground here and uh, see if we can take this dungeon with my goblins here, kind of paving the way for future cities. I want to move one big beetle onto it just to take a peek in there and see what I'm up against. Probably, okay, we got a manacle rider, uh, two, no, only one phalanx. Everybody else is monster hunters, so nothing. It's a halfling manacle rider, too inflict crippling wounds. Nothing that really threatens, aside from the one phalanx, nothing really threatens uh, the big beetles or the flyers, so I'll bring them all in. Um, what else have we got? We got monster hunters, all halflings. Everything in there is halflings. I think it'll be cranky, I think, because of being in the dungeon. So I shouldn't have to worry about getting unlucky. Oh, these guys are getting fried by the lightning storm. Even though they're underground, that's hardly fair. Uh, I wonder if those guys are going to actually survive. <laughs> I better not send them into a battle because they've got lower health than everybody else. So I guess I guess this is the group I'm, I'm rolling with. I could actually... Now what I should do is leave a... Actually, I should do just the opposite. I should bring them in along with the orc priests and try to heal a couple of them. Uh, who's gotten promoted? Who's the best in the group? We'll take that silver and a bronze rank right there. Oh, I guess I can only bring one in. Well, buddy, it's your lucky day. I may have to pair uh, those healers with them for a couple turns. Probable defeat. Uh, yeah, probably, but with spells, uh, I need probable defeat as a probable victory. All right, let's do this. Plus, these units are, I mean, I won't call these garbage throwaway units, but uh, there's not a lot else up here they really have to fight. I can get more exalteds up here fairly quickly. I'm making in that goblin city a little south, southeast of here. So I'm not too worried. All right, let's see if we can, yeah, they could still get lucky, unfortunately. Dang halflings, no matter where I go, they follow me everywhere. All right, let's um, let's try to curse that phalanx. Actually, I want to slow him down. 
I don't really want to slow the Manticore Rider down. I would actually prefer to have him charge in ahead of everybody wildly and risk life and limb for no good reason. Uh, maybe if I position you here and you here, no, here, and then, uh, actually, regardless of who he attacks, I'd be okay with that. I'll leave the flyers where they are and something like that should be sufficient. Finally, is there anything I should cast in here? I mean, I could cast just about anything to guarantee that I win this fight without any losses. I just don't know if it's really worth the mana. We'll see what ha how it develops. There's the dang fireworks. Fortunately, everybody resisted. He's going to use wing beat, which is totally fine with me. I'm pretty sure I can mess this guy up pretty good and knock him out right now. All right, the monster hunter's moving in. Not super worried about him. Should have used the orc priest to heal a turn ago. I would actually like to use him to do that now, if possible. Let's um, let's do this. Move you here. Flank bonus. Okay, good. I was hoping he'd turn at that angle. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether he'd turn looking at the big beetle or whether he'd turn looking at this tile. Um, okay. I've got many units in need of healing. I think I might use this guy to heal. Uh, I'm only going to get two hits on this guy, so I may as well build up that charge. Nice, good kill. And it still leaves me with a big beetle with all his movement left. Perfect. Got that berserker. Wait, where's the pikeman? The pikeman's in the back, that's right. Monster Hunter's moving in. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal with these guys. Keep that uh, swarm darter alive. And I'm not gonna charge out there. I think I'm gonna kinda. Sort of hold ground here, play a little defense, and try not to get anybody killed. May as well use these guys healing while I can. They'll probably use fireworks again. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, Berserker. Oh, they didn't, they didn't make it. Oh, poor guys just can't handle all the fireworks. Alright, well... It's one of those things that I knew might happen coming in here, but I just don't feel like spending mana on this fight if I can be avoided. Let's uh, let's get rid of probably you. They're dazzled, but that doesn't mean they can't effectively curse this guy again. I want to keep him away from me for as long as I can. Alright, how about you go deal with... you deal with that guy. You guys can deal with that monster hunter here. He can't move hardly anywhere, so you go flank. You finish him off. Alright. So, pretty much all I can take at this point is another fireworks blast. Oh, I guess there's that guy there. Okay, that orc priest is not doing so good. He, I need, I need to keep them alive, because they're the only healers I have around here. They're a bit more important than the uh, swarm darters. Uh, so, I need to, to do something about that. Let's get this guy off of him so that he can back up and hopefully fail another curse, ideally. I'm going to back him up a bit further so he can't get poked if, it, if this doesn't work. Well, even if it doesn't... Okay, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Um, I want to flank that monster hunter, but I don't want to expose the flyer to a flank attack. Instead, I think I'm just going to charge. Alright, now you guys, I wouldn't mind you hitting something 
once. It's a halfling, so it's not like a dwarf with defensive strike. So yeah, go ahead and hit something once. That's fine. Hopefully these guys get their heals back soon. Alright, they did. Patch yourself up, sir. You deserve it. Alright, now I should be able to just hit this thing one at a time and kill it. Alright, I got plenty of uh, room for another heal, which I will go ahead and use on... Probably that big beetle there. All right. Relatively easy-ish battle. And got, uh, ooh, another healer. All right, uh, two more healers, actually. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. That's not bad. Especially with Lightning Storm going on, I would welcome the healing. All right, so uh, you can go in that group with the orcs, and you two can go with that group. Great sword, you're just gonna have to kinda hang out. I might actually send him back down uh, to the crappy unit garrison down here. Um, I don't know. I guess he can tag along and serve as like a little backup if they need it. Now with that out of the way, where do they go next? Where does that, you know what, where does this go? There's a magic library up there that I could get to pretty quickly. So hopefully for another free spell, plus an item rack. I think that, I think that's where they're headed next. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I get them up there. Yep, with some room to move. And I already know the group behind them can make it. Up. They could actually do this battle on this turn. It's a lot of flyers in there. They're all a little beat up. Let's do it. Let's just make it happen. Get some more free items. We'll probably end up selling them or just not doing anything with them. We'll see. Let's see what's in there. A lot of flyers inbound, though. Something I gotta prepare for. I don't have any pikemen or anything like that. At least they're not charging the group with all the squishy swarm darters, which really need healing. And also definitely should not be left adjacent to the Ice Queen. Stay away from the flyers, please, and thank you. Oh, yeah, he's got Guardian Flames and healing, that's right. That is, that is really nice. Okay, for the priests, also I think I want to open up with healing, probably. I'll kind of set up guard, okay, this guy... I'm gonna do something like this. Heal him. That flyer could fly over and hit the priest in the back, but I think that wouldn't be the end of the world. And then what I'm gonna do is cram this swarm darter back here, but sort of barricade him in behind these units. And then I might want to cast a spell for this one. I'm not really sure. Banish, Shane of Unlife. No, nothing, nothing's really sticking out to me. I think this is another one of those that I just don't want to spend mana on it. I really need mana for other stuff. Possibly summoning spirit elementals is one thing that I need to think about. All right, so a couple charging this horde. Um, they are going to have their guard broken, I think, by an Ice Queen. Especially since it doesn't matter if the Swarm Dart... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because 
because it doesn't matter if she's in the way, these guys can shoot right through her. Not for really enough damage, but for something at least. I think I'd prefer to kill the one up front if I can. In the meantime, I am going to kind of shuffle everybody away from the enemy, ideally. Alright, can you finish off the other one? That would be pretty great. Oh, nice shooting. Very nice shooting. Alright. Proud of you guys. Good job. And, uh, finish that elder too. Alright. Well, that problem's all solved. These guys are like the ultimate glass cannons in this game. Okay, so that swarm darter's got somebody up in his face that I didn't realize could reach. Oh, no, no, that's my flyer. Sorry, I'm getting everything all mixed up here. Um, you are not going to stay alive for very long. Now, I can do some curses. I could just go melee with the orc priests, which they're not really bad at. But I think I'm just going to... I'm going to use the big turn. Soften this guy up. More crits is nice, and I think he's all that's left. Let's curse him for fun. And I think this should do it. Alright. Uh, that can be sold. That is not worth my time. All right, let's stack up here. Can't leave everyone. Yeah, this is a fine, this setup's fine. All right, so I can get that magic library on the next turn. Another Orc Impaler done down here. I guess he can. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna, that's what I was thinking. I'm just gonna leave them on camping, that's fine. Bugs working on public baths. I need to think about getting a spirit elemental down here if I can. Um, I'm trying to think of other battles I have to do on this turn. Ganon, probably nothing. Karzin, I believe, is out of movement with Farron. They have to wait until next turn before taking the Fernhilda's capital. Let's get a hospital on it. It works out here. Oh, wait, no. Public baths is pretty cute. Let's queue a laboratory. Shrine of Smiting is done. These I will take the time to get to the front line ASAP. In fact, I think I want one of these headed underground. Um, yeah. It's the fastest way to get one of these underground. I guess that cave entrance, maybe. I'm going to send him down that way. I don't think these guys benefit from roads. Uh, I can test that. Move two spaces. To, oh, maybe they do. If that's the case, it might be faster to send him down here to this cave entrance because there's basically a highway that goes all the way to the front line from there. Uh, no, I think the other way would still be short. Actually, the game is telling me the other way would still be shorter, so we'll uh, we'll do that. So you can. Fastest way down there. Yeah, this, this is fine. Yeah, having a Shrine of Smiting underground against the Necro would be nice. Uh, building an Orc Builder next. I think I was going to build a fort or, fort or something here, or a tower. I don't know. I guess I'll let it do as it's doing. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get that Spirit Elemental now. I'm going to cast Paid Absolution somewhere. I think I've already got most of the cities in the back covered. So I'm going to cast Paid Absolution around probably here. Probably Ordron. That's fine. More money. Uh, 193 casting points left, so i got quite a bit to work with. Um, but not enough to get... Anything with Embrace Darkness. Like, Embrace Darkness is going to take 60. Spot Summon Spirit on Elementals, 150. So I would have needed... Yeah, I, I, oh man. I actually probably should have just canceled Paid Absolution. 
Because getting the uh, other spirit elemental is arguably more important. I wonder if there's like a mana cache somewhere I could get. Like there's the big ones, but I'm thinking of like one of the smaller little channeling point orbs or whatever they are. I haven't seen any. There's one there. But I don't have any units in the area to get it. Anywhere I got soldiers, that would be useful right about now. I am just not seeing one. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, the Sorcerer's Army, do they have movement? They've got movement. They're moving into Sorcerer territory now, actually. Let's see what they can find along the way. to scout this area out. Oh, I wish those haste berries were were available. So there's a big city here. I would not be surprised if that's green capital. That's that's a big city. Although it would put them awfully close to the halfling's capital, so I don't know. If yeah, that's the case, it means they really got crowded. But I think for now I'll start from the south and then work my way up north. Especially since there's Dreadnought units coming from this direction. What I'll probably do is actually just have the Halfling... Have the Halfling fly ahead. Okay, is that the capital? No, that is not their capital. Is it an undefended city? Is the next question. Well, actually, she's got enough movement. She can find out. It is a lightly defended city with a settler in it. All right. Do I want to go after that? I don't know. I don't see any more green up in this area. There's another green city. Looks like there may be a river blocking me. I think going down and underneath that river might be better. You can see this dotted line here. So there's another green city here. And that, I bet, is their capital right about there. So I'll take this city out, charge up to the northeast. By the time I get there, hopefully, their uh, leader will show his cowardly surrendering face and then I can smash it and then take his city anyway. Alright. Exalted's done. Arena's next. I already know about that. Storm Sisters in production. Gonna let them kind of build up, sort of like I'm doing with the Impalers. Um, might, I don't know. I, might, I may send them up here because I am a little worried with Ganon's army preoccupied, that if a big orange army tries to force their way through this area, that could be a problem. So I guess reinforcing uh, Dune K3 is probably a good idea. Night of the Angry Gods goes on for three more turns. Uh, you guys hold ground and heal. That reanimator is going to have his work cut out for him because this is zapping all my undead too. You guys should probably party up. Yeah. Let's group these guys all together. Because the Archon Caster has both undead healing and normal healing. So both of those should apply. Right, let's go here. Build road. Oh, I was thinking about doing that and then moving everybody down to the haste. Well, they can still make it. You know, as long as I have them in range to get there, I think they're good here. Because I could, with the haste berries, I could have them at Dune K3 in one turn in an emergency. But this still also leaves them the option to use the other haste berries to go north if they need to. So this is actually kind of a good strategic choke point to hold, I think. It guards a lot of routes into my land. Well, you may be on your own for healing, buddy. Just keep yourself alive. You, you'll be all right. Okay, Halfling got presumably better Greaves. Cave Crawling and plus four defense versus more move points and plus two. Yeah, I'd rather have the extra defense. Anyone else need good boots? I like killing momentum on those guys. And on Karzin. 
cannons already got the plus four defense. I uh, I guess these can be sold. It's a decent chunk of money. I'll keep that fire breath. I keep forgetting to use that, but that that's that's an AOE stun. I probably shouldn't forget about. Jeff pointed out that I kind of was leading some orange units north uh, towards where I'm attacking with Karzin. Um, I actually am wondering if maybe that's a good idea. I, I I may want to lead stuff into Karzin's army just because of how powerful it is. If I can kill a few things, stragglers off by leading them to their doom. Might not be a bad idea. For the moment, let's grab these lucky berries. Oh, what is this? It's something I can't quite grab safely. I would rather get them back on the mountains. Just more, I think they, those guys are just, just need to keep filling in as much of the map as possible. I need to know the geography of this area. All right, so I know Fug is getting invaded. Um, I am gonna pull these cherubs back just temporarily because they actually may come in handy fighting the uh, the necro. So I can't quite go nuts scouting just yet. In fact, I'm gonna pull them back a little bit further, kind of more behind the city. I don't want them sticking out towards the enemy because that just means they could reach me that much faster. Oh yeah, these guys also need to be around here because they're getting shocked by lightning and they need heals too. Let's, uh, that guy's got healing. He's got healing. Who can survive a little while without? Probably the firstborn. I think I'm gonna, oh, you know what? They're out of movement anyway. Probably gonna get fried. I guess I could split him off here. I just want to try to keep units alive for a little longer. Alright, so I got my work exalted and I have a plan for what to do with him for now. For now I'm going to have him guard here. Just hang out in that city for the moment. Um, until I can get more exalted built to complement him and give him a full group. Those guys are good where they're at. Uh, the Storm Sister is... Yeah, I don't mind having her here because there's another road. Stuff could come in and go south. Uh, that's probably okay. Maybe that's where I should have sent the other one. The others that I'm building. Probably try to send there and, and group up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everyone's getting fried. I get it. All right, as for these guys, normally I'd be all gung-ho about running them into certain danger, but um, with Lightning Storm active, it's making healing hard, and I don't want them to die in between turns because they won't resurrect for that. If they were at full health, I would just take that Ancient Ruins with them right now. Uh, but as things currently are, I think I'd rather stick that healer with them. Everyone needs a medic when it's raining lightning from the sky, even when you're underground, apparently. Alright, that is upgrading to a stone fortress in one turn, which means this guy needs to... Oh wait, no, that's the settler. This guy needs to finish the road and then carry on northward towards where that other city is going. built ASAP so he can go that way and I have no idea what you're gonna do buddy just follow and help I guess wait one more turn on him this cherub is the one for the north still no signs of enemy activity up here I used to think orange was in this area but he is clearly not that was actually more Bernhilda's territory, and she apparently hasn't done a whole lot underground. And that is it. That is this turn. So I did was not able to get enough mana for what I wanted. 
I can always just summon another spirit elemental down there, but what I really want to do is just bite the bullet. I've been procrastinating this for a while, but what I want to do is cast Embrace Darkness here because this city already has this cool arcane catalyst in it. And then I want to summon some stuff in here. Actually, there was an idea to use cherubs paired with Mighty Meek as well as uh, the arcane catalyst bonus for some interesting combinations. And the good news is I could get three of them in here on this turn. You know what? This might not be the best strategy, but it does sound like fun, so I'm going to do it. So this cherub now is the arcane catalyst bonus. So he's supercharged. If he dies in combat, it spawns a random lesser elemental that lasts until the end of combat. I feel like that could be fun. Uh... And I think maybe more useful than just a single light elemental at the moment. So I'm just going to get a group of three of those guys and see what see what kind of shenanigans I can get up to with them. Unfortunately, the spiders are a little bit in the way. I Crap, I forgot about them. Well, a little late now. I can at least get these guys a decent distance towards the front line. How far can those spiders move? Pretty darn far as a kind of count of cave crawling. Oh well, I'll just angle south and hope they don't explore. I haven't seen them go this far south, so I might be okay there. I've been needing to get Embrace Darkness on that city for forever. In the meantime, let's queue up another paid absolution. Also, you know what? I actually want to get Sanctified Sides back up. It might get disjuncted pretty quickly, but in the short term, getting a massive happiness boost in all my cities might be all I need to get the research bonuses that I'm waiting for or hoping for, which could allow me to get that remaining Empire quest, uh, which is, let's see, all-knowing. Still no one has that. Yeah, so... I think making my cities absurdly happy might might help me out. If I can get just one big research boost, I can really make some progress towards that. All right, let's go to the next turn, see what happens. I already knew Westville was being invaded. Uh, yeah, more, oh man, there's a lot of more stuff down there. Okay, uh, this area is very quickly getting overrun. I might need more than just supercharged cherubs. Although, the giant army, or I've got an army coming fairly soon uh, from up here. Maybe I should be keeping an eye on Brynhilda. Where is she? Wait, why have I completely there? There she is. I want to keep an eye on, got an eye on her for this turn, just to make sure she doesn't move. And then we can go down and talk about the giants and stuff. I hear a lot of stuff moving around in that area. Oh, she is backing off. Okay. But it's not far enough. I could easily launch that battle and pick her off. So, yep, it's a little too little. It's too little too late, lady. Now, I might... Uh, kind of running out of time in this episode, but I would like to finish her off before the end of it if I can. Okay, so we're on Orange's turn now. There's nothing in particular of his that I really need to watch, except for maybe... Maybe I should try to see where this flyer goes. She's got all these armies moving in, but it's not going to matter, because they're not going to have any anyone driving them by the end of this next turn, I believe. I do want to see where that flyer goes, though. Well, you know what? I don't know if that matters much. Because there's not really anything he could take. I want to snap down here and look at something else real quick, because I've got... Two Stone Giants, Shock Trooper, Tier 3s, Tier 4s going up on the next turn. Okay. So Telgar is also going to die on the next turn. That's what I wanted to check. 
Alright, I'll just keep the camera on hold here for the moment and we'll uh, try to track and see where that flyer goes. So if I can kill Bernhilda on this turn, if I can kill uh, Telgar, Telgar will probably come back in one turn. And I still don't know where his capital is, so I'm not going to be able to knock him out of the game. And I have no clue where Firak is, the orange leader. Oh, we got something else coming across the river, just a cannon by itself. Orange scares the crap out of me, though. Okay, it's finally on to Green's turn, but my gosh, Orange has had so much time to build up this game. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I am legit worried about whatever he's got that he's going to throw at me, because I feel like I'm going to I'm gonna kill Bernhilda. Um, and I feel like Green's on their last legs as they were trying to surrender. And Brown hasn't really worried me that much this game. He's a little more concerning at the moment, but I, I'm sure I can handle him. Um, although he has... Actually, Brown might have a lot of stuff because he's presumably started underground and I had free reign over all of this. But Orange is the one that really freaks me out. They've been nestled in the back. They're a dreadnought, so they probably just have like dozens and dozens of juggernauts that I'm going to have to chew through in order to finish them off. All right, did they get any meaningful reinforcements in here? They actually kind of did, but you know what? It doesn't matter. That city's got to go down. I may save that for the next episode, though, because I've only got 10 minutes left. I'm not going to be able to kill that and kill Bernhilda. So let's maybe take care of, care of some, uh, some smaller stuff. I hate to leave it on a cliffhanger like that, but um, I think we need to take care of some smaller stuff. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just have some fun. It, we might go over a little bit, but, you know, it'll be all right. I probably should pick that Frost Queen off on the way over here. Uh, yep, have fun with that, Carson. All right. Oh, I should have tried to seduce her. Didn't even think about that. late now all right here we go closely matched battle crap ton of juggernauts on a wall and I need to save casting points because I may need them to smite Bernhilda so yeah there's that fortunately Carson's army is crazy so they'll probably be all right Carson himself is actually insane. Um, you know, I had a very similar battle a few episodes back where I kind of regretted not just sending Carson in by himself with Absorbed Pain on him and forcing the enemy to target him. Instant Wrath, I learned back then, is not going to be helpful against machines, but there are other things that could benefit him. So let's transfer Pain. See if Carson can cast anything useful on himself. Like he could give himself Phoenix Warrior, which would probably just get disjuncted, but I won't mind wasting some of Bernhilda's magic on stuff like that. Um, Relentless Army, Shot of Intimidation, Berserk Lion's Courage. I'm gonna give him have him give himself Lion's Courage. I think. And we'll see, we'll see what she does. It's not like it's going to really cost me anything sitting back here. The Juggernauts can't hit me from this far away unless they come out of their walls, which I don't think they're dumb enough to do. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you uh, heal up your little buddy over here so you can stop draining my healing. And I guess I just leave everyone else on defense and see if she tries to dispel. I bet she's going to try to dispel that. Okay, so I was wrong about the mortars. They do have the range for that. But now Carson's supercharged and can go running right in. And they just used all their mortars, so I can pretty safely do this and use Nourishing Meal to buff his max health a, 
above the max value. In the meantime, I'm going to move these guys over here, back more or less everybody else up. These guys need to heal themselves now. And park some healers around this guy, because he might need it. Uh, the firstborn, I am okay with leaving out here in the fields as a distraction, just to give them something else to shoot at besides cars and that's relatively safe. And I'll have the giant start working on the wall over here. Uh, but I, I don't think I need to risk any of the undead. That's kind of what I got into trouble with last time I had a battle similar to this one. Not even the glutton, not the dragon. I think you guys could just hang out. Carson, large, by and large, I think Carson's gonna try to solo this crap, and it should be glorious if he can pull it off. All right, Carson with his killing momentum can go crazy on this thing. Uh, War cry, just beat the crap out of it. Not quite enough to kill. I think I kind of low rolled there. That's unfortunate. Maybe the giant can finish it off. No? Not quite. Well, then keep working on the wall, buddy. Because you got those firstborns coming up behind you. Alright, so... I don't want to give cars and Still got a. I don't want to give him rebirth. He could have cast Phoenix Warrior on himself, but I'm sort of afraid they'll just disjunct it. So again, all enter, all damage sent to him is going to go to that Exalted instead. So I don't think I'm at any real risk here. The giant is taking a beating. to back off or at least get some heals or something. Uh, how's the Exalted doing over here? Pretty good. Barely, barely any damage, if any at all. Giant can back up one space. Uh, let's get him some healing. I don't want to lose him, really. Uh, break the wall for the Firstborns. And Karzin is gonna go nuts. It'd be great. Alright, so you can go deal with the flame tank first, I think. Yay, thank you for not min-rolling everything. Um, these guys got a little shot up. I'll probably back them off, and then I'll use the other group to sort of just threaten these guys, I suppose. Maybe give them something else to shoot at and uh, try to get this guy over here as another healing option. Fair and I should have touched my faith on cars, and that would have made things even better. But that's okay. You can hide behind that rock, I think, for the moment. They're blowing up their own walls for me. Aha! -ha, lucky. Comes into play in my favor. It's about time. All right, let's break this thing. No such luck at getting it in one turn, but you know it is what it is. Uh, why don't you get some heals so you can turn around and go charging back in like a wild crazy dwarf? And I don't. I think the, they seem to really like targeting that giant, so I'm going to maybe be more careful with him. Uh, those guys did take 20 damage there, so worth dropping a healing on them now. And then we wait. That thing can't move without getting killed. Oh, they just blew up their own machine. <laughs> Okay, that's fine, I guess. Carson's war cry should be back pretty soon. That 
thing only has 78 health left. I could move the firstborn in and probably... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That'll let Karzin get up and in the face of something else. Alright, uh, who else needs patching up? Are you okay? You're, you're doing pretty good. Hanging in there. And there's no reason you should be sticking around down here. You're, you're, you're fine now. Go on ahead. Um, the giant could use a little bit of healing. I guess I will use the uh, healing from the necro on him. Be fine. This is not good for you guys. Oh, this is really bad for you guys. Oh man, I really want to kill that thing. I don't think I'll get it though. I'd have to kind of high roll for it. Maybe I could do this. Since they're not really doing a good job targeting that firstborn. Is that enough to maybe get this one? Probably not, but maybe. Got it, all right. Get that, and then get a free hit on this one. Carson is just going to town on these guys. He's literally a one man for, well, a one cat army. Okay, they're down enough that they could use another heal. Why don't you fly over here and let work take care of that for you? Literally, the rest of you, just stand back and cheer the man on, like, or the cat on. He's doing great. I get, he's got his firstborn, buddy, though. I gotta give props to that firstborn for helping out. He just keeps getting lucky. It's great. There's another one bites the dust. And another one's about to bite the dust. You know what? Uh... You know what? Just patch him up. You can't kill that thing on this turn, so just just help out your buddy there. I see that hero hiding over there, shooting arrows. All right, everybody, help out the giant that always needs healing. Oh, you made a mistake showing up in these parts, I'm afraid. Let's, uh... Can you guys finish that? Well, Karzin will be able to if he can kill her. And he certainly can. Oh my gosh, that man is a monster. That was glorious. <laughs> All right, uh, there's also some hero items. Let's see if we got anything. It's just a longbow. Eh, I don't care, I'll sell it. I don't need that. Um, yeah, so that's great. I uh, guess I just walk into the city now and uh, capital's mine. I'll decide what to do with it in a minute. For now, I just want the vision range, and here is a bunch of orange crap everywhere. Although it's kind of spread out. Nah, they're building some forces. I think I may uh, hold ground in that city for a bit and uh, try to hasty plunder it and then go nuts on some of these guys. Or I could start trying to pick them off. I don't know. I'll think about that. I don't know. I can't really reach anybody on this turn. But you know what? It's technically we're going into. Wait, who is? Where you? Where'd you come from? Green's got stuff showing up over here all of a sudden. It doesn't really matter. I want Burnhilda dead. It's that time. You and all of your machines have caused way enough trouble. You are going to get smitten into oblivion.
It'd be nice if you didn't kill my stuff before I had a chance to do that, though. Then again, they all have resurgence, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, it was nice of you to let your guard down. Thank you. All right, Ganon, move back here. We don't want you getting beat up while this is all going on. Now, I do want to check the odds of disintegrate. It's not great. Um, 24%. What are the odds of smite? 52% or higher. Maybe she resisted, but she can't resist. I have 200... <laughs> At only 12 casting point cost, she's going to die. It may take a little longer than I wanted, but she's not going to survive this. In the meantime, it would be nice if everyone else could keep themselves alive. Alright, everybody, form up. Maybe should have transferred pain on somebody besides Ganon who might actually do some fighting, but yeah, it is what it is. Alright. Everyone, protect Ganon. He is all that matters here. Ah, oh, they're gonna get in with some healing. Everyone, that reanimator is a high priority target apparently. Well, the problem you see, Unicorn, with your strategy is that there is a giant troll behind you. What the fuck? <laughs> there goes my reanimator. They're exploding unicorns. Oh no. They got bomb squad. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the funniest, most unexpected things I've ever seen in this game. Oh man, I'm so glad I went ahead and decided to do this battle. Oh man. Okay, um... Alright, we still got stuff to do. He's got killing momentum. <laughs> He's got killing momentum, so I can, uh... I can... I can, uh, at least hit the unicorn once. Uh... In fact, I got a lot of units with killing momentum abilities here. I would like uh, maybe for you to go away if I can manage it. Actually, these guys don't get killing momentum until gold rank, I don't think. Yeah. So they, these guys have it. Which means I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Just to make sure I get the kill. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Um. Then you can move here. You can move here. Well, maybe I should have gathered everyone. You'd think I would learn from my mistakes. The unicorns are exploding. Stop putting units around them. Instead of just forming everyone up for more damage. I don't know, I just, I, I lost it after that last. Oh man, that was just too funny. Okay, uh, Bernhilda's got a healer up near her, but it can only heal once every few turns. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's get Ganon back here. And, uh... And just keep it up. Just keep smiting. Yeah, that one succeeded. See, now you're one spell away from death. What are you gonna do now? She doesn't have any more healers, except for... Well, no, but their Frost Queens don't heal, because they're not Theocrats. And they don't have any party robots. So, uh... I think she's dead on the next turn. Alright. You guys, uh, have fun. You go ahead and fix your machines there. It doesn't even matter. Go ahead and kill my units. It doesn't even matter. Alright, so I want to check something. Ganon can do... It's a good thing I didn't try to do this battle. I mean, I'd be using Ganon differently, but it's probably a good thing I didn't try to do this battle a couple turns earlier. Um, good advice from you guys. Smite will do... It could technically fail. 
Um, I'm trying to think if maybe I can squeeze a little bit more XP out of this fight. But uh, the giant cannot... I don't know, the giant might be able to reach her with the boulder from there. Oh, he's engaged. Uh, let me see if I can do something about that. All right, you. Distract her. Okay, she's panicked. You, break this. You, move up here. Okay, good. Oh, oh frick, he's engaged by the glutton. Uh, maybe I can turn him around. Glad he didn't get eaten. I didn't actually think about that. So I can do that. Just to make absolutely dang sure that this works. Goodbye, Bernilda. Goodbye, all of your stupid things. All right. Ganon's army all comes back. A bit beat up, but they're there. And Bernhilda is out of the game, ladies and gentlemen. See that? The tanks with no drivers. Well, at least unaffiliated drivers. All right. Let's, um... Let's see what kind of stuff she had. Let's take a quick look in here. You know what? Uh, I'll have to I'll have to look through these items on the next on the next one. I think I, I I need to wrap this episode up. So maybe I'll try to remember to look through those before I start the next episode and figure out where they're all going because I don't really like doing item man item management on camera. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I certainly did for many many reasons. Carson got to go on a rampage. Uh, Bernhilda died, and to top it all off, we had exploding unicorns, and I just don't think it gets much better than that. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. We'll be back, um, probably be back this weekend. Uh, at the time of this recording, I'll probably be back this weekend for more Planet Fall, I think. So we'll get back into that series and see what Ronald McDarkside is up to. But I do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for all your support and feedback, and I'll see you guys in the next one.